no matter what he did or no matter what he would say, nobody's ever going to be able to understand what he's going through. So that's why I'm here. I'm Daniel's voice. To get people to understand what this is, what it feels like to have it, how common this is. So everybody comes forward and asks for help. One of the definitions of depression is it's the inability to feel happiness and joy. I understand that. I suffered from depression in college for many years after. One of the examples I can give you is this. We all live up north. Obviously, I live up a lot farther north than, than you guys, but the winters are long. The winters are cold. The winters are snowy. It's always dark in the winter. Everybody feels a little bit depressed, but no, that doesn't mean you have the, the illness of it. But you want to feel better during the winter, so you go down south where it's warm. You get off the plane, it's 85 degrees, it's sunny, not a cloud in the sky, and you still feel terrible. You can't feel that sunshine. You can't feel that warmth. It would have been the same thing as if you got off that plane with the flu. The body aches and chills. You wouldn't be able to feel that sunshine. You wouldn't have been able to feel the warmth of that because you're, you're medically sick with the flu. It's the same type of thing. If you're laying on the couch with the flu, your friends are outside the picture window laughing, joking, having a great time. You can't feel that. You don't want to be out there with them because you have the flu. It'd be the same thing as if you were laying on the couch with severe depression. Your friends are outside the window laughing, joking, having a great time. You can't be out there with them. But the difference is they don't understand why. Why not? You look good. You sound good. Why can't you be out here? They don't understand. They would understand if you had had the flu. People describe it and said it was described in the documentary. People describe it saying it feels like I'm in a dark box. I've heard it described as being in a black hole. I'd always say I feel like I'm in a fog. That dark box means that sunshine, that warmth, that happiness can't get through the walls of that box. And you feel so alone, that's why it's dark. When I said I feel like I was in a fog, you know, when you get up in the morning, you go to school, you drive to work and it's foggy out, the sunshine can't get through that fog, the trees aren't clear, things aren't that clear. And you don't feel like yourself because things don't seem normal. So if you're struggling, you have to be able to come forward and ask for help. Couple, um, couple uh, experts, or doctors, whatever, explain it to me this way. Two things are happening. There's a deficiency in your brain. Medicine will bring that deficiency back up where you can feel. A lot of people are suffering, can't feel. They can't feel sunshine, they can't feel happiness. They just don't feel. Medicine can bring that deficiency up. It's also, things aren't connecting in your brain. 